Alright guys, we're about to react to the Star Wars Episode 9 trailer, the newest one. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's time. Are you giddy? Are you ready? Would you like me to stop talking so you can see the exclusive, highly anticipated world premiere of the final trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? Okay, I can do that. Sit back and enjoy. Hey, is that Andor? It sounds Andor? like Andor. It's an instinct. A feeling. The force us together. We're not alone. Lando. Good people will fight if we leave oh, them. Why is she? keep telling me they yeah. know me? No one does. Show us this. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, wait, what the heck? Long have I waited. Oh. And now. You're coming together. That's nice. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. You might die. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Star Destroyers. Those are original Star Destroyers. The Force will be with you. Always. Oh, that was hmm. interesting. Actually, it wasn't as incredible as I thought it was going to be. But, uh, wow. Wait, keep playing in case there's something. Oh, okay, yeah, let's play a little more. Uh, and that's it. Huh. huh. Well, that was interesting. All right, well, it's time to break it down. All right, everybody, it is now time for the breakdown. And before we get started, just remember, I've only seen this trailer once before, so I'm going off what I just barely saw really quick, so can't guarantee the accuracy of everything. Let's break it down scene by scene. Here we go. Now, when I first see this, I think Endor. And I really hope it is Endor. We're pretty sure that the Death Star crashed on the planet of Endor. This is the moon of Endor. So we may see Rey practicing on Endor. Maybe we can see Ewoks come back. Because how else does she discover the Death Star? That must be how. But we don't know. We get to see this mask is back for some reason. It's an instinct. I mean, that has to be Endor. <laughs> And this, I think, this either could be the same Star Destroyer that she was in back on Jakku, or it's inside the destroyed Death Star. Feeling. It's the same again. Together. Actually, taking a look at this shot, it looks a little different than Endor, so I'm not entirely sure if that's it, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And you got the uh, new resistance base. Now, what is a little bit of a stretch is that at the end of episode eight, they said that that was it for the fleet, that there's only six, you know, eight, 12 people left of the, of the rebellion. And now there's all of a sudden there's like, you know, 20 more. So I don't know where these people came from, but apparently they're here. Also, there's Finn, there's a Poe right there and there's Lando right there. So that's kind of cool. We're not alone. There's Rosie again. People will fight if we lead them. That's cool. That is Leia's ship. Not that exact one, but it's the same brand. Hammerhead. Don't know why it's so close to the trees, though. 
That is the Falcon, and it lands in the water. You wonder, is it still good? Did it crash? Who knows? People keep telling me they know me. No one does. I love baby. And apparently, lightsabers are waterproof. That is now confirmed. Now, what is this? Now, is this actually in space? You see a little things here? Or is this just a reflection? Really hard to tell. Is it more believable that it's an ice palace or that it's in space? Honestly, I can't say either. Star Wars is so crazy at this point. Oh, man, when I saw this, it's Papa Palpatine's chair, and he's back, baby. Oh, man. Oh, have I waited? Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at this. Isn't that interesting? The Star Destroyers were apparently in the ground. It's kind of hard to make out here, but they were in the ground, and they're coming out of the ground. That's where they all were. And so now he's bringing the Star Destroyers out of the ground. How epic is that? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's just a little ridiculous. Look, look at all that. It's only ridiculous because they kept insisting we have no friends left, the Rebellion, that's it. There's only 12 people. Well, guess what? We had about 500,000 friends that weren't friends last time, but they're friends now. So, uh... Yeah. Also, if you notice, they they um the Millennium Falcon now has the old satellite dish. It no longer has the um the square shaped one. You're coming together. Wow. That's the Death Star. Oh wait, what is that? Uh, can't really tell. I'll say I don't know. Is your undoing? Wow, that's a cool new ship. Whoa, that's a Death Star. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3 PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Now, it sounds like maybe he's going to die, and I could believe it because, uh, you know, they have to end the movie, so I expect a lot of characters to die. So I bet this is right before he turns, you know, Rambo, and he probably just, you know, shoots everyone, but then that, like, fries his brain or something. That would be good. Make 3 PO relevant, finally. That's more First Order land. You see Leia again. It's amazing reusing of Episode 7 footage. I don't know what that is. Also, did you hear who that was? That was the voice of Luke. I feel like this is just an opening scene. Oh, and there's Lando. Wow. Now, look at that. That is a classic Y-Wing, and that is a classic Star Destroyer. You know it's a classic Star Destroyer because of the little balls on the top there. That's cool. Now, this makes no sense. Random uh, random little horse aliens running on top of the destroyer? I don't get that. Wow, that is inside the Death Star, baby. Okay, so, and also this. What is this? This is a completely different shot because Kyla has his helmet on. So, I wonder if this is a vision. It looks so different than everything else. Also, one thing you might have noticed, that Finn is there, too. Wow! Look at that shot! You got so many Star Destroyers, they're running on the Star Destroyer. Once again, these are original Star Destroyers, which means that they are Emperor Palpatine's per personal fleet, um, as read in the books. And um, so you wonder if there's going to be three factions, the Empire versus the First Order versus the Republic. And wh what side will Kylo sit on? I'm thinking the First Order is going to be split in half, half with Kylo, which actually he will eventually help Rey, and the other half with Hux, and he will help the Emperor. That would just be so interesting to see. Wow, look at that. Wow. 
That is the emperor right there. You can tell it's him. Oh my gosh. The force will be with you. Always. Oh man. Now let's go back through a little more quickly and listen to the words and analyze what they say. It's an instinct. That's Poe speaking, I think. Feeling. Oh no, it's Luke. It's an instinct, a feeling. Together. The force brought us together. That is Luke. We're not alone. Oops, hold on, sorry about that. Like, who's that? We're not alone. That is Poe. Good people will fight if we lead them. Yeah, Poe's always trying to lead everybody. If we people keep telling me they know me. Obviously that's right. No one does. Of course he does. So he said, long have I waited, and now you're coming together is your undoing. So, man, he's back. He has so many Star Destroyers. Oh, boy. What's, what's going to happen? What are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. Oh, man. At my friends. So he's definitely dead, okay. The destiny of a Jedi. Oh, hold on. Fear. Sorry. Alright, and that is Luke. Oh, and we're definitely certain Luke is back as a ghost. Your destiny. Your destiny. You hear the Emperor laughing there. He's laughing. <laughs> the Force will be with you. The Force will be with you always. What did he say earlier? He said something here. Your destiny. Okay, so I just said your destiny, so whatever. So anyways, wow, wow. Wow, tickets available now. Let's buy them now. I am so excited for this movie. Yes, episode 8 was really hard to get over, but I'm not going to let that ruin what could be an incredible movie. I think some people are, are a little mad that Palpatine is coming back, but I'm not too bothered by it as long as they have Anakin kill him again. Otherwise, that will ruin the entire thing because he's a chosen one. So if he doesn't kill Palpatine, it's just weird. So hopefully that does happen. But other than that... It looks really, really good. We have classic Star Destroyers. Don't they realize that's what we want? We just want... That's what we want. We want original stuff coming back. Look at that shot. Look at this shot. That is probably the best shot. I am so excited for this trailer, or this movie. And it's going to be great, guys. And, uh, all right. Well, I will see you later. Make sure to tune in next week on Monday for my live stream of when we film next at Paradox. All right, guys, hope you have a good day. I will see you later.